Greetings guys and gals. Today, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own region for use in the OS grid. This basically means that your friends, or even your family if you wish to, um, can log in to the OS grid and teleport to your region or your regions if you wish to. Um, it is the same as Second Life, but there aren't as many users and the other great advantage is it's absolutely free. How it works is you host the region from your computer, unless you have a, um, a paid um, server that can be run off the internet. But anyway, let's get straight into it, shall we? So the first thing that you are going to want to do is click on Join Now. Okay, and you just want to register, you know, um, because when you make this region, when you make your region, the region will be in your name. Okay, you will be the the moderator, the owner of that region. Um, if you want your friends and or family to join, then they will need to register as well. So, osgrid.org, I'll provide a link for you, go ahead and join. And then what we're going to do, once you've done that, it's a pretty, like, two minute job, okay? What we're going to do then, is we're going to um, go to our C drive, okay, and make a folder called OS Grid, okay? Righto, and then, once we've done that, inside that OS Grid folder, make a new folder called, let's, I'm going to call it Steamworks tutorials okay so once you've done that just a quick brief um, that's the same thing um, explanation of why I have two folders here this is one server this is another server um, they are two different servers I don't want them to intermingle I don't want to want them to be the same um, on this being run from the same server okay Anyway, so once you've done that, click on Downloads and just download this, okay? And save it to the folder that you made so that you know where it is and you have a backup. Because if you mess up your server, then um, you will need this and you'll have to download it again if you don't have it. So once you've got it in there and it's downloaded, right click, open with WinRAW. Grab these files, okay, bin optional version.txt, and put them into the folder that you made. In my case, Steamworks Tutorials. Okay. Takes about 30 seconds. Okay, then go into that folder. Go into the bin folder. And then just look for OpenSim 32-bit launch. Right there. Right-click, run as administrator. Okay. And here we go, it's just setting up for you. Allow. You need to allow that or your firewall will block it. So, I'm going to call my new region Steamworks Tutorials. You can call it whatever you want to. I'm just going to call it this. Region UUID. I'll explain more about this in the next tutorial. This is basically if you want to set up multiple regions. I'll show you guys how to do that in the next tutorial. Okay, don't need that. Enter. Region location. Now, this is where it gets a bit fun. I'll provide this link for you. Um, this is the open sim grid. All these green areas um, are sims that other people currently have, own, you could say. Um, here's one I have. As you can see, the wastelands. This is mine up here. Um, now what you can do, is you can, you can just say, okay, I wanna go down here. Okay, and just hover your mouse over an area 
and just type it in here. So hover there, hover your mouse there, and just type in 10053, um, comma 9973. Okay, and press enter. There we go. That means that this is where our, our region is going to be. Internal IP address, you don't need that. Port, um, internal port. I prefer to use 9001 onwards. So I'm just gonna use 9001. Um, how it works is, as you can see here, I have six regions. Now each region has a different port number. But I will explain more about that in the next tutorial, as I said. Now, when you start your region, you may find that it doesn't want to connect. Now, now that could mean that you need to, um, you know, do some port forwarding. But um, I'm going to have to do that in the next tutorial anyway. So, you know, if you have problems, then just go to the next tutorial, and hopefully that can help you to resolve them. So yeah, port 9001, press enter, allow alternate ports, press enter, don't need that. Now you do need this external host name. To find this out, to find what yours is, go to www.ipchicken.com and you go there and that will um, give you your external host name. I'm going to pause the video and do that now and uh, I will see you in a minute. Um, to do this, you just go to that website, um, copy it, right click up here where it says OS Grid, blah, 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 blah. Edit and paste. And I'll just paste it in there. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video and go, and go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've already done that. I went and I right clicked, edit, paste into this window. Okay, new estate name. Now, this is a little bit important for, you know, organizational skills. So I'm going to call it Steamworks. Okay, um, yeah, this is pretty much, it helps you to link your other regions to it. But I'll go into that a bit later on the next tutorial. There we go. <laughs> okay, enter. Okay. Estate owner name. Now remember when, when we um, registered? That's what we need now. First name, tactical. Last name, nightfire. Yours will be different, obviously. Like it could be first name Joe, last name Blogs, whatever. Okay, region, Steamworks, tutorials. This means that it's now running. My sim is now running. Okay, so if we go into Angstrom, I will provide the link for that as well. Okay. So, I mean, you can use this with singularity or um, imprudence. Um, I'm using Angstrom for now. As long as you have um, a viewer that enables Grid Manager, so you can click on this. So yeah, just go here and click on OS Grid. And type in your region name. Mine is Steamworks Tutorials, so let's go ahead and do that. Steamworks Tutorials. I've already typed in my, I'll do it again for you. Tactical Night Fire. I've already typed my password, so go to login. And here it will say Tactical Night Fire in Region Steam Works Tutorials. This means that I'm basically joining. And if this is happening for you, then well done. That means your server is, your sim, your region, whatever you want to call it, is now up and running. There we go. Now, just a very, very quick um, bit of advice. 
because I've read a lot of people appear as clouds. Um, so what you want to do if that happens to you is click on develop and make sure that these two things aren't ticked. Untick HTTP inventory and untick HTTP textures. Okay. What you may also want to do, if it's here, um, I don't think it's on this one. No, it's not on this one. Um, but it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, what you can also do, for example, is if that doesn't work, is press Control and F for the search. Click on places. Type in clothing. Enter. And these are the regions slash stims um, what other people have made that other people have made um, and you can you know just get clothing from here it's the same as second life but like I said there's not as, as many people okay so just go here and then find some clothing or here whatever here um, find some clothing okay then go to your inventory right click it and then just click on replace current outfit and that should fix the cloud issue. If it doesn't, then uh, please feel free to um, leave a comment or message me in OS Grid. Tactical Nightfire is my username on that. And I'll help you as much as I can. Um, as I said, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up multiple regions for you to use. Um, so you can have like two or three, maybe six or more regions. Um, anyway, so I will see you in the next tutorial. Any questions, message me in world or leave a comment and I'll be happy to help you. All right, take care.